Hi there, it's Elaine here and welcome back to my channel, Chapter Lane Creates. And I'd like to do a harvesting video today. Now we've got some different ones that I picked up from Hobby Crafts, which is a craft uh, shop in here, uh, in our country. I'm in the UK for anybody that's new here. And I also have a couple of new ones and a very old Beads and Beyond. Now, for anyone that doesn't know, I used to be a jewellery maker and a glass bead maker. And I'll have explained, I explained some of that in my previous video where I had to give it all up because of arthritis in my hands. So that's why I do the, the paper crafting now. I kind of started with mixed media and then I kind of went into, I did a bit of art journaling. I, I didn't really get on with art journaling very well. I keep trying, I dabble, but it's not something I'm going to do on videos anymore, I don't think. I might do the odd backgrounds and things like that because I quite enjoy doing that, using a gel plate, that sort of thing. So more mixed media than art journaling. I do make junk journals, but I don't use them for this, obviously. I use it more like a collage journal slash memory keeping type of thing. I never journal, I don't write anything down, it's all visual, you know, kind of creating in this way. So, yeah, my big Gertie needs to be coming out, I haven't done her for a while, but I did sort of hit on, on it a little bit in the last video where I've been suffering a little bit with my mental health, and I just wanted to... Uh, do something fairly straightforward that I enjoy doing. I love I love har harvesting videos. There's a few new ones that I I've subscribed to some magazines because uh, just after Christmas they did this big they do a bit of a campaign where they have you know like three issues for like three pound or which is what this film total film one is. Uh, this is the February, is it? February? 347. I think it, it might have been the February or the March one. I can't remember. February, this says February down there. So this is the February edition. I've also got a March edition, but this is the June, the new June film edition. So I thought I'd get that out. There's lots of lovely blue eyes. With the June, I like some of the uh, pictures in here. So we'll harvest that one. As I say I used to also for Beads and Beyond. I used to, I did do some uh, tutorials for jewelry making in here. I do have them somewhere. I might have to show them at some point because I'm going to do. I've got a jewelry kind of it's a sketchbook great big a3 sketchbook i've kind of used it as a ideas and i used to sketch out some of my my jewelry that i had you know trying to design jewelry because i i used to be a wire worker and i used to love doing this type of jewelry where it's god i've forgotten all the technical names now i haven't done it for so long <laughs> what the heck's it called I'll write it at the bottom of the screen because I just can't remember at the moment. <laughs> it might come to me after a while. Yeah. So after after doing many years of jewellery making, I found at a show uh, Martin Tufnell, who is Tufnell Glass, demonstrating how to make glass lamp work beads. And I thought, I've got to do that. So about... Oh, 2007 8 I started learning how to lamp work lamp work is a type of torch now rather than a lamp anymore and 
I learned how to make glass beads. I really enjoyed glass bead making. I was quite sad to give it up. And so in this issue, there are some Lambert beads. So I'll show you the type of thing that I used to do. I thought we'd go through one of those. Just I just picked on one that looked... I like this type of jewellery. So it's on chains and it's um, a charm, charm bracelet type uh, jewellery making. And these three I got from Hobbycrafts. Uh, apparently Hobbycraft, well I got these from Luton. We've got a new one opened here in the town in Dunstable. So I need to go and check that out and see if they do them as well. These all cost about a pound I think. They have like big bins that they put the old issues that don't get sold, I suppose. I mean, this one is August last year, I think. August 23. This one is June to August 22. And this one is September 23. So the simple things, I just got one of those. I've got a watercolour art magazine for watercolorists and landscape which i i got two of these at the time i've done one of them and these are really wide magazines and some lovely kind of all sorts of stuff in that one so we'll do those i'm not quite sure how many i'm going to get done today but the other one that i wanted to introduce you to is Lerza's Archive LA. Now I watch uh, Jules Journals and she uses this magazine as much as she can because she absolutely loves it and so I thought because she does have some fabulous um, you know images that she uses in her in her glue books she does glue booking i mean she does do journaling as well i think but she is mainly glue booking sort of at the moment she's had a few breaks from it because she was she'd got a new job and things like that so i do i do watch her she doesn't always have videos out at the moment because she you know she works full time so it depends on there's lots of my hair everywhere. It's really annoying me. <laughs> so this one, I'm not going to go through it, every one of them, but I might give you just a quick little flick. Uh, I think it's one of these magazines where I will pull out things that I particularly like and want to use straight away. I don't really want to take it out and have it sitting around. It is really quite thick paper a very good quality they are a lot of money this is the number four of 2023 they only come out quarterly so this is the latest edition because they haven't got one out this year yet it's probably due any time and i also ordered a back copy uh, which i haven't actually received yet but so I thought I'd give you a little quick flick through of this one. I'm not going to go, but this is the type of stuff it has. It's just got very unusual kind of adverts, really. I mean, that's gorgeous, isn't it? I mean, it's on the cover. I won't use that one, but this part is usable, obviously, because it's inside. But And they have very unusual images and... Some of them I like, some of them I don't. Look at that one. That is total fun, isn't it? I've got to have that one out. And I will probably use these mainly in my high life glue book. Because a lot of them do are full page images. But some of these, these are fantastic. Look at those. Digital artists they are. And it's a real mixed bag of of all sorts of things. I've got some great images. So I'm going to do a flick through, but I'm not actually going to take anything out. 
so I thought we'll start with this one because I'm not going to actually harvest it so I'm just gonna very quickly give you a sort of overview of what's in here whoops I just bent that look at that that's fun isn't it Pixater Studios oh Pixter I love them they, they'll be coming out that, that I like that Oop, done it again this sort of stuff I'm not too keen on that's a bit naughty it's <laughs> a bit risque I think I didn't realize that until suddenly I saw it <laughs> uh, this is it this is these are just small images of what's on the main pages through the magazine I mean you can't really call it a magazine it's like a big book with quite heavyish paper that's lighter than a book but heavier than a magazine but there's some really cool images in here I love that this seems fairly pointless <laughs> Yeah. Oh. Lots of kisses there going on. Ah, uh, yeah. So that give you a bit of a brief overview. There's a bit in the back here which is food and drink which is kind of like a special report or something uh, you can actually get it separately but i didn't really i nearly ordered this separately and then realized it's actually in here in this edition so i'm glad i didn't order it in the end but i did find a magazine company that actually sell them here in the uk i think they are now in europe because uh jules actually said that it, i think it used to be created in america i don't know but she's had more difficulty getting it recently because i think she used to get it from barnes and noble or something like that and now she's having to kind of order it online and Look at these these are really pretty aren't they i like them and they're quite small actually but i suppose you could leave it as a whole advert you know a mixture i'll leave the link to jules journals down below if you want to go and check her out as i say i don't know whether she's made one in the last week or two but uh, she's got loads and loads of previous glue booking sessions that online. It's really weird because I I've actually got in Vogue. I've got these two images as full page images, which I think is quite fun. And I was going to put them side by side in my. This was this is Twiggy now, and this was Twiggy back in 1967 uh, so she's got the same handbag <laughs> which or very similar anyway and similar kind of jewelry on jumper and uh, yeah I mean she was a teenager then she was very young when she started Twiggy and for any young ones out there Twiggy used to be a supermodel, a British supermodel. So yeah, there's all sorts of lovely images in here to choose from. Some are a bit scary. Some are scary in that sense, <laughs> horror scary. And um, the right old mixed bag. So some great images in here. But I think what I'll do is I'll leave that at that and we'll do some proper harvesting. So what shall we start with? 
I think I'd like to start with this simple things because I've only got one of these and I don't know what I've got in here. Oh, I love that picture straight away. I'll have that one out. Oh, I think these are going to come out quite well. Uh, and I kind of like that one as well, but I, I love that. It's like a wallpaper, isn't it? Hmm. Uh, I think I might go with the wallpaper on that one. Love this. These are going to come out really easy because the spine's kind of cracked. Oh dear, that's going to be a dilemma, but I think I'll have to go for that one. Not really into food unless I like it. It's all on fish, so I can't eat fish. I have an intolerance to fish. I like that. And I quite like this actually. Black down shepherd huts, black down builders of spaces for jolly days. Okay, he's cute, but I'm not sure he, that that will win. Mm, not sure about that one. Oh, I love that. <laughs> Looks like a donut, but it's like a lilo -y ring thing. So that's fun. Got too much writing on that side. That's quite nice. I can't get hold of it. I can't get hold of it. Quite like those. Will look quite nice on my yellowy orange page. Whichever one I decide to put it on. Oh okay love the feet not so keen on this bit i love that bit <laughs> don't think i'll take that one out i can always go back for it if i to change my mind as i might want to use it as a a backdrop sorry i do slide off my chair Fish. I don't like fish. I quite like that image though. Cooking outdoors. Kind of fire pit and everything. Don't like that, but this looks quite nice. Well I have it out anyway. I don't want that one. Uh, I can always come back through. I'm just sort of taking out what I initially see. Firewalk. Woohoo! It's in black and white, which is unusual. So I might have that out. Ah, these are quite cool. Coming out quite so easy now. That's on that side. No, and just in that side. Oh, he's cute. A woofter. That's cute too. Look, now, now there's blooming oysters in the pictures. Hmm. Lizard. Oh, I don't know. He might win. I don't know. We'll see. Oh, these are nice. They're lovely. Treat. Hmm. Not a lot on that side. This is quite nice. I, I like unusual buildings and things. I'll have that one out for that. That's very colourful. They are seven. Stop for something tipple at a. Oh, still creation. Still creep. Do I turn that over? Mm, don't need that. Here's a doggo. 
he looks totally 100 concentrating on the food even though most of it's veg vegetation <laughs> he's lovely i like him i like this little these little uh Oh, nice. I think I might take that out for that. Yes. The Great British Rhino. Rhino greenhouses. Wow. Look at that. I love that. I could put that in my blue glue book. Nice. I like that. I might take that off. <clears throat> Sorry, I hit the, the stand, the fan stand. This is a lovely colour, teal. I think I'll have that out just purely for the colour. <gasps> I'll have to figure out what I can get out of there from that to that. I like both sides of that. They're definitely coming out. I love strawberries. Oh, look at that colourful street. That's a shame, isn't it? Strawberries will be winning. I'll see what I can salvage once I've taken the strawberries out. Mm, they're all right. I'm not. I'm not really into this type of illustration that much. That's cute. Ooh, that's so lovely. I'm going to leave that in there for now. This looks like it might need to come out. <laughs> uh, I like that. I'm not sure about the rest. I might just keep that one. I love the tram though. I love that sort of stuff. Trains, planes, trams. Put that that way up. These these are quite thick, thickish paper. Not as thick as the LA, but uh, they are quite thick. Lots of yellow here. So I might take that out, just purely for all the yellow on that page. This is quite sweet, black and white as well. I like that, <laughs> but that's even funnier. So, and they're on the, in the, in the same place. This is all fun. I'll have these. I like them. Oh, look at them all back to back as well. I've got to decide. They're so fun. I haven't read it. I don't know what it's about. <laughs> Uh, oh, black and white. I hope you're not getting too much glare. Oh, look. That's a bit of a mixture of black and whites and more up to date. This is nice. That looks like a Hepworth sculpture. I don't know whether it is. Someone like that. Nice. I like that. Lovely. We'll have that one. Oh no. Look at the doggo on the back. Oh, lots of doggos. Oh, and the dash hounds as well. Or dash. I don't know how you pronounce it properly. My friend has told me because she's got them and she's German. But I never say it right. I'm so bad at it. I don't know if it's just that in your throat. But oh, I love that one. And I love that one too. That one's going to be a hard choice. I like this. A vintage, vintage house. Look at that 
blue fridge but that's a smeg or something I did look at the smegs but they were really expensive when I was looking at American style fridges oh look at that she's obviously a sewer it's a little den look at that in the garden I like that that's cool uh -huh. I like that side better oh nice that's why I like this one because it's got a real mixture of different things in it look at that with the with the bee I love it poppies Mm. Oh look, butterfly. This is nice as well. Sorry, it's quite low at the moment. So you can see better. Right. Ooh, like that. I do love colour. I'm not bothered about that, but I do like that. Ah, jewelry maker now. Hmm. Oh wow! There's a tent for every kind of camper, and even the most reluctant may be tempted by a bell tent with extra doors to allow the breeze in during the day. Whatever your choice of shelter, camp along. Camping among sunflowers is highly recommended. Wow, that's nice, isn't it? So that looks like that's all about camping. And lots of stuff. I might cut the boots out. And like the lantern. Or lamp, whatever it is. Oh no, I don't think so. We'll see what we can get out of both of them. All oh, right, she's painting. Painting the. It looks like metal enameled. Yeah, enamelware. We used a tumbler, bowl, and plate. However, these motifs could be applied to any item. Nice. Paint, paint your own. Paint your own. Uh, enamelware well we've taken quite a lot out of this book already I like that I'm gonna leave that for now I'm not sure if I want it properly right now let's go through it again pigeon we'll have him out these are fun. I like these. Trooper baboons. <laughs> You're from Jersey. Mm. I went to Jersey on my honeymoon. It was alright to start with, but he just wanted to see everything that was had, where the Germans had been, because uh, he's into that sort of stuff, my husband. So yes, so that's that one. That was quite quite nice. There's not a lot left in there, but there is still some bits in there that I could take out. So, so we've got all of those out of that one. So we leave them there. Uh, what time is it? How long have we been going? Half an hour. I'll keep going for a bit. We'll see what we can get out. Do we want to do? What do we want to do? Shall we do the landscape book or the beads and beyond? Shall we do the beads and beyond? Because I'm not going to pull out everything out here. There's just bits and pieces that I'd like to pull out. So I'll have that one because I like the crown. And there's some colourful, you know, there's probably some colourful beads. I've got I've got them uh, from there. <laughs> I like this one it's in an advert 
rather than somebody's made it for the magazine but there's nothing on the other side I'm going to do that with that I quite like uh, some of the bead adverts because they just have them all strewn around so I quite like those so I'll have that out that's predominantly green so it could be on the green page here's a small version of what was on the front cover and it's on page 28 so we'll see what we get when we get there uh, don't want them don't want them What's that one? No. So this has a very different range of jewellery making uh, or jewellery. As I say, I like these kind of there's some crystal Swarovskis. Oh, I do like that as well. So do it in two bits not bothered about the back of that one you can see where my my book's starting to age from being up here <laughs> i started off doing this sort of thing to start with they're all um crimped either side to make the bead they call it a illusion necklace oh it says there <laughs> illusion fairly straightforward to do you've just got to get the crimps right Ah, oh, there we are. There's, that's the one on the front cover. And they're actually made with lampwork beads. Which is why I thought I would show you. Because uh, Beverly actually makes, made the beads. And this is her, how she, how she made them. So that you can make them yourself if you're a lamp worker. Which I got a feeling I did have this magazine out. Because it was folded back. I don't know whether it's folded back on this page, but she made all the beads. Starfish as well. Yeah, nice. And that's how you make it. So there's a torch, specialist torch, which points away from you. And you, this is a mandrel that you make the bead onto. This stuff that's this pale coloured thing I don't know whether you can see it properly let's get you up a bit closer sorry I've knocked it but you can see that this bit here has got bead release in it bead release on it so that you can get the bead off and what it does is it coats the mandrel so you can get the bead off after it's been uh, annealed in the in a kiln so once you finish making the bead, you put them into a kiln. And what that does is it slowly cools them so that it makes them stronger and they don't break so easily. Because the thing is with glass, because it's always moving, if you cool it too rapidly, it's more likely to break. So if you cool it very gradually, it's called annealing it. And my kiln sits right over in the corner and gathering dust at the moment but I'm going to keep my kiln partly because um, I could make I could do enamel enameling in it and I could also make what they call um, PMC which is precious precious metal clay beads or anything precious precious metal clay so you can you buy it as a clay and once it's fired uh, it becomes a semi precious metal like like this this is PMC this is silver art clay and so it looks like you know kind of a clay to start with and then you fire it in a special way and uh, yeah it makes real silver beads once fired. You can get copper, you can get brass, I think. 
gold is too expensive. <laughs> I, I never did get around to making semi precious clay, uh, uh, precious clay beads, but I might. You never know. I, I've, I kept the kiln so that I can have a little play if I fancy doing something like that. This is quite colourful. Bead enhanced gift boxes. So yeah, I'm not going to take much out of this one, but I just thought I'd show you. These are all tutorials made by, you know, anybody that does that sort of thing. I know him, actually, personally, Ray Skeen. And he is one of the uh, longest making bead makers in our country anyway in in England well he's, he's actually in Wales and yes he does your tutorial amazing bead maker he actually demonstrated uh, we used to have a convention called the flame off and he made a off mandrel spider and it was a mate with real thin legs i do mean thin uh, i don't know whether i've got any beads hanging around up here that are mine but amazing made amazing bead maker Off mandrel means that he didn't use a mandrel, obviously, to make the spider. Chainmail. That's nice. I did have a go at chainmail. I didn't do a lot. I did have a go. It's a little bit fiddly because it's all jump rings. But yeah, that's quite nice, isn't it? This is a tutorial, teach you how to do it. These are real silver. Who's this? Sally Lee's, I don't know her. She's used real silver sheet to make those. This is a fascinator with a real ribbon. That's nice, isn't it? I think I might have that out of there. Oh, it's coming out anyway. This is only um, stapled together. So, sometimes the adverts in the back are quite colourful. I might have that one out. I've got a few on that page. Just some smallish ones. This is ooh, Adrian Hay. So he's also, uh, he's, well maybe he's made, he's making the wooden pen holder. But it has actually got uh, beads on the top of it. But he's made the wooden bead, a uh, uh, pen. That's quite interesting. I might take that out there. That can go on my brown page, couldn't it? Yes, why not? Ooh, I love that. Egyptian treasures. Mm, bit toot and car moon there. I don't I don't like this type of jewelry making. I mean it's it was very popular at the time, I don't know whether it still is, but yeah. Nothing else really in here, I don't think. Oh, that's quite nice. She's a, a proper painting artist. They sometimes have other things in a meet and greet section. 
I don't think I want that. This is on the cover, so I don't really want that one. So that's that. Right, should we do one more? What one should we do? You want to do the watercolour one? Oh yeah, that's got some nice... I don't know actually whether I want to pull this one apart. I kind of do, because I love some of the images. There's the landscape. Uh, what have we got in here? Should we do that one? Ooh, and food. Let's do that one. I think we'll have to leave those two for another time. Because we're up to about 40 odd minutes now, I think. Mm. I need to open up the spine. That's lovely, but it's on the wrong part of the page. If that had been on here, I'd have had that. That's on the cover. I'll leave it for now. And I love Viennese fingers as well. Oh, I'm getting all of it. Yeah, more or less. This is lovely. Horses. It's got a bit of a mixture on there. I love the little puffing. So I'll take this one out for now and I'll, I'll use the small images, I think. Oh, wow. Lovely. <gasps> Ooh, I, I love that. I do love that. Oh, I love that too. <laughs> okay. Well, well, I'll fight over that one. That's gorgeous. I'll definitely have that out. That's all right. That's okay, but it's kind of a bit greenhousey. I'm not really interested. That's quite nice. So we will have that one out. I like that page. These are lovely. We'll have them. We'll have all the flowers. We'll have all of the flowers. That is totally gorgeous. Sorry, I shouted then, didn't I? <laughs> Sometimes I talk quietly when I'm thinking as I go along, but then when I get a bit excited, <laughs> go, ah! <laughs> oh dear. Hmm. I like that one, but I don't like that one. <laughs> so I might just cut that out at some point on its own and not pull the page out. These are cute. I might cut those out as well. Ooh. I really could do with some fruity images. So we have those. I know they've got a big save five pound on them, but I'm sure we can cut. Oh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. I think they're plums, I think. I love plums. There's most, most fruit I love, really. There's not many veg I like, but what's them? Cherry plums. I like that one better. Some more plums down here. And the green gauges. We used to have a green gauge tree in our garden and they were horrible. They were rotten and it attracted all the wasps, which I hated. So we ended up taking it down in the end. I think it was kind of diseased, really. Oh, is that from that front? Same at the, on the front page. Oh, yeah, it is. Oh, because that's the contents, that's why. Nice. Yeah, not bothered about that one so much. <gasps> nice. We like the flowers. Oh, he's cute. I think you might go into that page a bit. These are nice to cut out. You can cut out bits of them. They're a seed catalogue. <gasps> no chance. Not with those fuchsias. Ooh, my favourite. I used to love growing fuchsias. Look, it teaches you how to. And I used to do that many years ago when I was really into gardening in my in my younger days. <laughs> I can't do them now, but 
Yes, the garden, we have to pay for a gardener to come in now because both me, my husband can't do the lawn anymore and I haven't been able to do it for a, for a while, so. Oh, sorry, I'm just rearranging my... Lovely. Oh, my God. That's going to be a bit of a battle, isn't it? That one. Love that. Oh, I'm glad I did this one now because they're gorgeous pictures. Oh, look. Why did they have to be on the back? But I love the hat. <clears throat> I might be able to get bits of it out. So we'll take that out. I love it in the, in the watering can, though. Why do they have to put this smack bang over the flowers? Hmm, that's annoying. Right, what else we got? Ooh, steeped in orchards and nectar. I'm going to leave this in here. It's all about apples, spiced apple cider. I love the pictures. But I'm going to leave it in here so because I want to check out the recipes, I think. That looks really nice. That looks exceptionally nice. That's cute. Look, there's nothing on the furniture. That is awesome. Oh, coffee. Don't like coffee. Can't can't tolerate coffee either. So it's fish, coffee, garlic. I can't tolerate any of those. And recently I found out I can't tolerate um what was it? I think there was something else recently I found out I can't tolerate either. Cider Welsh rabbit. Uh -uh. time is it now past 11 so I am going to slightly speed up a bit now oh my god they're nice they're totally nice they are I love the whole image I think that might be going in my high life book. Mm. I know I didn't. I said I'd leave the. Yeah, there's quite a lot in here. I should really leave it in here, but I need it. I like that, but I believe this is probably a, might be a chocolate drink actually. But these, it's the Bourbons, very baldy biscuits, plain digestives. I mean, really, I probably don't need the recipes because I probably won't do use them. Not not for the cakes and that. And biscuits. But I do like those images. Lovely. No, thank you. Don't think I want them. They're a bit too big and... Nothing... It's lovely, but it's not wow, really wow, I don't think. No. Not to the extent that I would pull it out. Oh, we're getting there, aren't we? I love that. Where's that? Thirlstone Rock. Banton. Not quite sure where that is. Oh, that's lovely, that one. I quite like that, but I don't know. Well, I like that better. Mm. Leather working. That's interesting. And the doggo. It's keeping a company. My dog I used to come and keep me company when I uh, used to work up here. I had a bed up here for him and he used to sit and keep me company while I 
made beads. Then when we both get a bit too cold, because it's all concrete floors in here, I want to put um, a wooden laminated floor down. It might make it a little bit warmer. Rush. That's nice. I like that. A bit of a mud room. Uh, don't like that sort of thing much. Bejeweled ones. Hmm. Not overly impressed. Oh, that's lovely. I think I might have that out of there. That's one page. Look at that. That's gorgeous. I love ruins and stuff. Architecture. Old buildings. Not necessarily churches, but old buildings. Oh, look at that. Statues. So William Wallace. Indeed. Oh, he's nice. I love this page out. And I like the bird. So I might have to uh, chop into that one. I don't really want daddy long legs not really i don't think <gasps> wow black beauties that's rather gorgeous picture isn't it yes indeed i'm not a horsey person but that doesn't mean to say i don't love the look of them and the majesticness <laughs> yeah not into that but he looks lovely and as he's black Hmm. I could cut him out and put him on the my black page. I'm going to take that whole article out, I think, more or less. I'm going to leave that one there. Right, we're nearly there. Nearly there. That's rather cool. Uh, I like the like them. I think I like this page. Lots of nice little pictures. I'll we'll have that out. A bit of stained glass there. Mm, maybe I don't know. Love that. That is metalwork. Devon, made in Devon. Oh, some of those might win out though. Chocolate cake, do love a bit of chocolate cake. On a Saturday, we used to go to my nan's. She used to live over in the next county, which is where I came from, where I was born. And she always made a cake when we go on a Saturday when I was a kid. I think really we have done enough. I'm going to leave those two for another time because it's on the way to an hour nearly. And even with editing, I think it would still be quite long. See how much bigger they are. Let's see if I can go through that. That's this. Sorry if I might have just hit my mic. So yeah, they're quite a lot wider than a normal magazine, that, that landscape one. So, right. We've got quite a lot of mixture stuff here, haven't we? I love these. <laughs> I absolutely love these. Let's um, put them on the top. Yeah, let's put them on the top. 
because I love them. <laughs> so yeah, we've got a few, a few, through a few, not through those ones. And I showed you Lazur, Lazur's archive. I think we'll call it a day and hopefully we'll see what I where I put some of this stuff right so there we are we got through one two three uh, two that we didn't do and we've got lots of nice a nice pile there to deal with and I'm, I've got to the point where now, really, when I when I harvest, I should really only take things that I actually need, like currently. But I just find it so hard when I see it. I've just got to pull it out if I really like it. So, yes, there we are. So I'll leave a link if you're interested in this. I mean. I did say it was very expensive. Here in the UK, it cost me £16. And that's a lot of money. But the amount of, you know, pages and it is only quarterly. In that time, if you bought three magazines, what would that be? I mean, they're usually about 5 99 so six pound an issue six 12 18 so it's, that's it's the same sort of price really as three magazines but all in one magazine so so in theory it isn't that expensive compared to buying three magazines so you know it's kind of on equal par I know that not everybody can afford to buy magazines and there are sometimes easier ways to get hold of them but it's not or I find I don't really have many friends that uh, buy magazines I do have quite a large stash of beads and a um, few other types of magazines I've got uh, some old photography ones and things like that which I might see if I can dig out some more of those for another harvest another day but I could still do the watercolour one and I've still got a film one to do and I've also over here got some um, supermarket ones and some I've got about four Lidl's there because they bring one out every every week I think 14 21 18th of January March February yeah they just come through my door there's various things in here these a lot of these are Easter based but I quite like the this type of you know the fruit and veg they seem to lay it out quite nicely you might be able to chop off the prices and things like that so so i might do a couple of littles but not necessarily on on a video maybe i don't know and this another asda which they do have recipes in and all sorts of things there are others and these are some of the beads bead magazines that i pulled out there was a bead couple more beads and beyond I have a couple of other ones that I used to to get some of them I've I've had mainly beads and beyond I've mainly had tutorials in I might have to pull them out and show you them there's one the very first one I did was in bead I think so and I love that. I really love the pendant. It it did really well. Everybody loved it. I'm waffling. I'm going to let you go. And I'm going to do something with all these. And I hope you enjoyed my harvest. Sorry we couldn't get through all of them. But yeah. Bit of waffling. 
and I thought I'd show you that one this time because I've only just got it I only got it last week actually it came last week and I'm still waiting for the back issue to arrive I haven't got that yet so yes we are there so thank you for watching please come back again don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already lovely to have you here don't forget to leave a comment below anything you'd like to say to me or you know give me an advice of where you get magazines from that would be helpful i know sometimes you can get them from libraries a lot of them just recycle them now they don't always give them away well they don't give them away for nothing but they do give them away cheap usually once they're out of date but i have found that hobby crafts you know a new source for me and as i say these some some of the really i don't know whether that one one of them might have been two pound i can't remember but they 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 were about a pound or 50p i think something like that depending on how old they were i think and i just had a lovely time going through the bins and trying to find something and that one i like that one because it's got country heritage gardens cookery travel craft so it's just a bit of everything it's lovely right uh i'll say cheerio for now and i will be back with possibly another glue book one i might do my blue one you never know and come back again and bye for now